Hello and welcome back to Battlefield 4 uh, Part 2 Online uh, and we're going to play some Conquest so let's start matchmaking joining server Ta -da. right <coughs> uh, mainly doing this uh, just going to talk about uh, my top 10 PS3 games now that the PS4 is on its way to me uh, I thought I'd go through my uh, top 10 games uh, and I thought uh, maybe I should do it as a uh, vlog, but then I decided I might as well play a bit more Battlefield since I haven't done many videos of that yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for my top 10 um, and I'm going to give a few special mentions to, well, quite a few titles that just missed out on the top 10. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm an anime, anime fan and I quite so my. I might lean towards Japanese games a bit more than some of other people, but uh, that's that's my personal tastes, and and you're gonna have to like it or lump it. Uh, so ten, uh, number ten, The Last of Us. Oh, now that was quite an emotional, uh, emotional game. A game that one. Uh, my girlfriend also watched me play this, and she's not a big game fan. But even she was uh, very addicted to at least watching me play this. Um, it was a uh, yeah, very good. I thought um, how they handled the zombie apocalypse was very good. Uh, it did have its problems. Uh, you could definitely tell when there was going to be some kind of attack because there was lots of things to hide behind. You know, the usual game mechanic stuff that you were. Uh, uh, that you know, you kind of have to have to be fair. So you can you can like uh, can see why they needed to put that stuff in. Uh, I think it was a bit overly long. It could have been a bit shorter. Um. So yeah, that was uh, so. The Last of Us was one of my games I played through all the way to the end on a my YouTube channel um, for good reason because it was an excellent game, but uh, could have been better. Uh, like I said, the characters were awesome. Joel and uh, Ellie were very, very interesting characters that. Um, that you got really attached to, and you really wanted to wanted to take care of them and make sure they got to the end and stuff. Um, uh, graphically, it was ex excellent, and uh, and f yeah, I mean, a lot of people would call it the game of the year. But I actually preferred a different game for my game of the year uh, to this, but uh, I can definitely understand why people would say this is their game of the year. Um, so, um, I like my zombie apocalypse games. Um, and I think this is probably one of the better ones. Okay, number number oh number nine. Uh, it's a bit. It's Skyrim. Now this is, could have been a lot higher, but uh, unfortunately, the PS the PS version had came out with a lot of problems. Uh, and it took a long time to come out, and the DLC was aggravating long to come out. The other, uh, uh, the Xbox had it out, had it a long time before we did. Uh, that was very aggravating. Uh, I think we deserved better. And obviously, the for the uh, PS3, there was long loading times for. Um, Which 
which didn't help its case, I think. Um, Um, so yeah, I love that game so much. That was... Oh, unlocked a gun. Nice. Um, so yeah, Skyrim, I could have lost plenty of time in that. Um, I poured in over, well over 120 hours building armour and just doing side quests and just going around the world and seeing stuff was awesome. I, I can't wait until it comes out, the next Elder Scrolls comes out on a PS4. Uh, but uh, the online version comes out. I, I don't, I'm not sure whether I invest in the online game. I think it'll be epic, but uh, uh, online RPGs can really eat up your time and I probably wouldn't have much time to play anything else to be honest. Um, Obviously, some people might think that's fine, but obviously, I want to play other games as well. Um, so yeah, let's hope the next one is pretty damn cool as well. Uh, so that was number nine, and number eight is Eternal Sonata, Japanese RPG, uh, with a very nice, like, original twist to it. Uh, set it's set in. Uh, the Dying Mind of uh, Chopin, the composer, famous composer. Uh, now that is a very weird setting for a game. Uh, but it was just um, really emotionally gripping and stuff and I just thought, wow. That, uh, you know, I got really attached to all the characters and I was loving it. And uh, the combat system was pretty cool. Um, graphically, it was very pretty. Uh, it was, it didn't have the oomph of uh, uh, Skyrim. You know, it didn't have the big, large environments you could walk around. It wasn't a, it's a kind of linear type one uh, compared to Skyrim, definitely. But um, I just thought it's a very emotionally gripping. The characters were great. Um, uh, yeah, so that was so that was eight, um, um, and I am quite addicted to my shooters. So I'm going to give a couple special mentions to shooters. I probably would never put a shooter up. Um, a, uh, what would you call a proper shooter? Into um, like that. Uh, a, a proper shooter into my top ten because the stories aren't good enough. They don't try anything original. Uh, but Killzone 2 is one of my special mentions. Uh, I thought the game, I thought it went down a little bit uh, story-wise from the first one, um, but it was still great. Uh, people complained it was too uh, brown and you know dark and dingy and and stuff and didn't have many different environments and stuff and I but I thought that was great. Uh, I mean a lot of shooters you'd be like playing in the city for ten minutes and then you'd be in the countryside and then you'd be on the top of a hill and and stuff like that and I, that's not how wars are fought anyway. I mean if you're in fighting for the capital of your enemy. It is going to be street for, to street fighting, and that's how Killzone 2 was, and I thought that was great. And the way it felt compared to other shooters, it's very heavy and stuff. The character moved very heavily rather than moving around really, really quickly like a lot of other games. Um, um, well, I th and then the, and I thought uh, the online game was excellent. I loved playing it online. It was very addictive. Uh, it got a lot of things right. Uh, and I thought it was probably the best shooter on the PS3, to be honest. Uh, and then my second one is Mag, 
uh, mass, uh, starts. Uh, it was an unlock, just a pure online shooter. It was just basically one game mode, really. Uh, attack, attack and destroy, even defending or you're attacking. And obviously, a lot of people thought, oh, it's rather boring, same mission type, type over and over again. But uh, I didn't. I thought it was. It played really well, and uh, the guns felt good. Uh, when you got an and the point of this game was that you had 120 people in in a single match that could that could uh, you know that meant that every fight was a little bit different and felt different cat people act differently uh, so it was un quite unpredictable and underrated game I think and unfortunately it'll probably never get a, it's not going to get a sequel uh, the company went under I, I believe and no one no one bought the rights to the game, I don't think. Um, so there you go. There's the shooters out of the way. Number seven, uh, Hatsu Miku Project Diva F. Uh, this is a quite a recent game, but it's very, very addictive. Uh, it's just a music action rhythm game, uh, Japanese. Um, so it's all in Japanese, I'm afraid. Uh, if, but I don't really care if it's in Japanese. Um, I just like the music I quite I quite like my Japanese music so uh, this didn't really bother me um, uh, oh shit, I can't can't drive to save my life anyway um, yeah um, yeah that was very addictive I plugged in over 120 hours on that uh, well, over well, 130, and my girlfriend was totally addicted to it too. She played a lot of it and was got very good in it. Uh, so that's uh, very niche, but uh, very good game. And hopefully, uh, this is that was the first one to come out on PS3. Uh, there's been others on the PS Vita, uh, but no, no one on the uh, good old uh, none on the old. Uh, But none on the uh, PS3 before. Uh, so that was, yeah, that was definitely a bit different to the unusual uh, fest of gaming. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, my number seven. Uh, probably com very controversial, not many people like that one, I'm sure. Um, so, number six, um, Mass Effect 2. Uh, it didn't get higher again because get higher because the first one didn't come out on uh, on PS3 so I only got the comic book version so that was rather ru rubbish that bit but uh, 2 was great uh, slightly better than 3 actually uh, that's why 2 is in there not 3 uh, the series was amazing being, being able to run uh, getting romantically involved with the other crewmate was awesome. Awesome. I think I spent a lot of time trying to get get my leg over the the right character. I had a female Commander Shepard. I always try to go go for female uh, characters if I have a choice because I just that's just what I like to do. Uh, kick ass female characters better than a better than uh, a male character if you ask me. Um, and it's a little bit different if you ask me as well because. Uh, I don't think many people do it. Um, yeah, and the it felt like a really realised world. You could believe in the the characters and the races that lived in this world. Uh, it just yeah, you could spend hours and hours playing this game. You really could. Uh, it was I reckon a slightly let down by the simple fact that it's a you know, you couldn't you couldn't uh, visit all the shops in the Citadel. You couldn't 
go around the world in uh, all the different worlds you kind of would, would have liked to, but uh, unfortunately that is... Oh, crap. I'm stuck in here, man. There wasn't much... Ch uh, unfortunately, that's the limitations of the, the uh, game. Um... Uh, not much you can do about that. So yeah, the whole series was great. Uh, that's part of the reason why I got voted so highly, but uh, I've s voted it so high. Um, again, another kind of open world game, really. Um, damn, ran over by tank. Uh, number five, Dead Space. Dead Space. Not many horror games. I love my horror, and unfortunately, PS3 didn't hot have many horror games at all. Uh, I thought it was pretty shit. Uh, but Dead Space definitely did its job. It was a... Uh, it's a uh, excellent horror. It took... It was uh, very hard to play it. It was just so scary. Um, there'd be like moments where you would walk around the corridors for like 15 minutes and nothing really happened uh, but you were scared to turn every corner because the, the, the sounds were amazing everything sounded creepy there was clanking of feet and stuff everywhere it was, yeah it was very good uh, the sequel not quite as good but still excellent um, unfortunately 3 sounded like it went off on something to be a different game completely, and I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even bother to try that game. I might later, but uh, when it's cheap. But doubt it. Uh, it was good, so I'm going to leave it, leave it as it was the highest point. My first two, uh, and hopefully PlayStation 4 will be easier to make games for. Uh, so indie game horror games should be more more of them back. Um, I'm just hope anyway. Um, um yeah, so a good horror for a change. This was one of one of the earliest games for the PS3, uh, so that was an, uh, encouraging. Uh, when I first got this, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Can't wait to see what other games come out, especially horror games, which uh, turned out to be not many. Next, number four, Heavy Rain. Very different, very adult. Uh, just excellent. So, uh, like a, a thriller, not nothing. You, nothing has been seen before it like that, really. At least on console. Um, um, and obviously, Beyond was very good too, but not quite as good. Uh, had its problems, and uh, that's why it's not. I haven't voted it into my top 10 Beyond Two Souls, but Heavy Rain definitely gets in there because it was brilliant. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it, it, a lot of people would say it's just an interactive movie rather than a game, but I really don't care. Plot, plot and characters mean a lot more to me than uh, gameplay, to be honest. Um, so, uh, 
yeah, in that case, incident number four, some of the, the, the emotional, emotional ties and stuff you had to the characters were immense, and I just think that deserved a lot more praise than it may have done. Um, uh, so yeah, that's number four. Uh, number three, Valkyria Chronicles, a number of these Japanese RPG uh, slash strategy action game. It was, it was uh, different. You could uh, you had a, a large amount of characters to choose from. Um, they all had their own little personalities, though. So some of them would be claustrophobic. So they uh, they would uh, so if they got in between an, in an alleyway their attack would go down and their defense would go down uh, and they could also die which is very very different to the normal time type of thing you get um, um, so uh, if you uh, if you get if one of your characters got taken down uh, you would have a chance of rescuing them by getting one of your other characters to um, one of your other characters to like uh, uh, go up to them, and the medic will come and rescue them. But if they didn't, an enemy got to them before, they would actually die. And at the very end of the game, when the credits rolled, their names would come up as being killed in action. Oh, that that's quite it was quite hard hitting. Uh, I managed to keep all my characters still alive to. Uh, Till like uh, the last mission, where unfortunately, <sighs> damn it, uh, where I got like three or four of my characters killed. Oh, I really wanted to replay and try to keep them alive, but uh, I didn't have enough time to do that, unfortunately. Uh, and had a good story, and it was just really fun to play. Uh, and that was another game that came out. One of the first games to come out, actually, uh, from a PS the PS3, and uh, well, there it is. It's still hit hitting my top spot. Um, yeah, so number two, Journey. Uh, a PSN downloadable game, um, and quite frankly, it did stuff that other games should have been doing a long time ago with online gaming. Basically, you were on a you were a little cloaked figure. You had one objective was to get to the top of this mountain. Uh, you could pretty much see the objective for most of the time uh, that was pretty damn cool to see that that type of thing as well uh... oh, you son of a bitch anyway uh, yeah um, and the way you interacted with your online buddy uh, was you could then only communicate for your, f your, uh, through a uh, little like chirping sound, top of chime sounds, uh, which was an excellent way because uh, basically you could accomplish more through just body language and stuff than you could ever in uh, most games where you got voice chat and stuff like that. I thought it was an excellent way. Of uh, playing a game, and uh, very different and beautiful. Just a beautiful game. Very short, but uh, it it doesn't really matter. If it was that short, to be honest. It was just that good. Um, and a special mention to uh, before I head on to number one, uh, I'm gonna mention Infamous Two because Infamous One and Two were excellent, but Two had. Had a little bit more of the emotional. Oh, you son of a bitch! Had a bit more of the, uh, bit more weapon, few more weapons, and just a little bit extra stuff to uh, keep it, keep it a bit over, just uh, a bit more entertaining than the first one. Uh, 
and it had an epic ending. Uh, and I can't wait until the third one comes out for the PS4, that's for sure. I really can't. Uh, it just missed out on my top ten. Um, but, uh... But yeah, that was it. That was very good. Um, another special mention: Duex Human Revolution was excellent. Uh, very hard and sometimes uh, annoying because of it, how hard it was. And I'm basically not a stealth person, and it was mainly mainly a stealthy type game. Um, so that's why I didn't get in the top ten. But it was very good at it. like the kind of uh, ideas it came out with like uh, like very Ghost in the Shell and very Blade Runner-y type stuff about uh, you know uh, people with augmentations you know uh, metallic uh, you know metallic arms and robot arms and stuff uh, will you know, outshine anybody, any normal human, because they can lift stuff, more heavier objects and stuff like that. And is that unfair? Should that be allowed? Um, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and flower. And the same people that made um, this is why this didn't make it into the top ten. Just simply because Journeys made it into the top ten already, and um, I was running out of space. To be honest, I thought it was actually probably one of my favourite games on the system, but I thought it was a little bit unfair to uh, have another one by the same company in the mix, uh, so that's the only reason why uh, it's, it was a beautiful game, you just, basically, you played a petal, and you uh, used the wind to uh, germinate other plants and bring life back to a kind of uh, a dead planet, because uh, basically the, the environment was destroyed, uh, pretty much, and you're just helping it get back on its feet again. And it's a very relaxing game, and uh, you know you could just simply sit back and play that game for a long time. Um, and it's just yeah, very different, very good. Uh, so yeah, that was that's another one. finish this before this match finishes. Um, yeah, so Flower lost out for... my number one. My number one is probably one of the most com controversial of the titles I'm going to pick. Uh, and that's Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. That's right, Storm 2. Um, big, long-ass name. But basically, I love the series. Um, I'm not the biggest fan ever, uh, but I am a fan. And the game just captured the anime really nicely. It was awesome fun combat. Uh, it's a basically beat em up game with some other side uh, missions, side games and stuff you could play which was a lot of fun. Uh, and it just basically captured the anime really well and it was very emotional and it did obviously spoil the plot for me just a little bit because uh, basically it uh, the ser when the series was coming out over here uh, it was basically ahead of the anime as it was coming out here over here, so that was that was rubbish, but that couldn't be helped. Um, but yeah, it was 
flipping awesome. And my number one for this generation. That being said, there is still one more game I want to get for um, for PS3, and that's uh, the HD remake of Final Fantasy X. That would be awesome. Uh, I didn't include any PS1 or PS2 HD remakes because I just thought that was unfair. Uh, so it's just PS3 only games for this top 10. Um, and yeah. I cannot wait until my PS4 comes and I can start writing down my top 10 for the PS4. And there's my school awards conquest service star. Okay, let's, let's quit out. Okay. Right, bye bye.